So in a previous video, we set up the Search Console and linked it to our analytics environment. One of the things that takes some time is actually getting our site to appear in Google. And you can help Google get this done quicker by making good use of the Search Console tool. On the right hand side, we have the sitemaps piece and why should we submit one? This is a good question. The sitemap is a computer generated file created by your website and it shows all of the pages on your website, importance of them and the date that they were last updated. And the Google search system reads that and if we submit it through the search console we can actually get Google to read it quicker and rank them a little bit quicker. So let's click on this and we can see there's nothing yet. So we click add and test sitemap. Generally speaking, if you're word, using WordPress, for example, the URL for your sitemap will be sitemap underscore index.xml. Okay, so feel free to hit test first. This particular one is generated by the SEO by Yoast plugin, the very popular one for WordPress. And if we open it up, that same URL, you'll see here is that XML sitemap. This one's being rendered by Chrome, by my browser to make it look friendly, but what it actually looks like is this. It's a whole bunch of XML stuff, each of the different XML posts, one for posts and one for pages. So take that URL, put that into the add test and hit submit. If you're not using WordPress or the Yoast SEO plugin, then you'll need to figure out what that sitemap.xml is. Definitely recommend you use something that generates it. If you don't, then you're going to have some issues uh, updating it. Obviously, you don't want to update the page and your content and then have to update your XML sitemap. If you don't have that up to date, then Google won't come back and look at your site as often. So make sure it's automated. All right, let's refresh the page here. And it's going to show us that we've got now a sitemap.xml at this point. It's being processed, there's no issues, no items, etc. Now, if we come back to that a bit later, it's going to show us exactly what's going on. Inside the Google in index here and the status, you'll be able to see what's been indexed, what pages there are. But of course, this is brand new and there's actually nothing information there at the moment. Let's go and have another look at us, have a look at another site that we have, and this will show you. There we go, the numbers, we've got 19,000 indexed in there, and there's a chart over time as well. Under crawl and sitemaps, there's our sitemap that's been indexed. It tells you how many pages are on the sitemap at all. And then on the indexed side is how many Google has actually got in its indexed. The goal here is to make your red and your blue line level and often you'll find that issues and the warnings down in this column here are things you'll need to review in order to be able to lift that red bar closer to the blue one. This is a really useful thing to see exactly what Google is looking at on your site and how it is indexing your site. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Duncan, I'm from 6.5. We are a Google partner. And this video has been about how to use the search console to increase your chances of getting ranked on Google in organic li listings by submitting a sitemap.